I know many individuals watching this lecture do not know what equality of feminism means. Allow me to give you an example. How many men watching this lecture have wives or daughters or sisters who earn money? Well, among those, how many of you men control your ladies' finances? There you go. You took the first step to prove that you're superior to your wife. Now, I do not understand why a given gender feels that he has a right to control over the other. Like, where is the promise of equality a husband gives to his wife during the time of marriage? When a man smokes a cigarette, it is injurious to health. But when a girl smokes a cigarette, it is injurious to her reputation. Why? Because she's a woman? Then I must say, sorry God, you've provided us with better lungs. The Indian modern society is fast emerging as global power, but women across the country are still struggling to live life. Women, irrespective of class, caste and educational status, are not safe. Women have to face discrimination in every sphere of their life, whether it is physically, mentally, emotionally, economically or socially. Some cases are explored by media, while the rest remain unexplored. Women are victims of exploitation in employment, in healthcare, in property rights. Women are victims of crimes directed specifically at them, like rape cases, molestation, abduction, dowry-related cases, sexual harassment and eve teasing. Men may feel that they need to control women because of low esteem, extreme jealousy, anger-related issues, or when they feel inferior to their partner in education or socioeconomic background. Some may have traditional beliefs, some who have traditional belief um, may think that women shouldn't be respected or that women are not equal to men. Whereas children who are, are victims or who have witnessed exploitation are most likely to exploit women when they grow up. Some may have undiagnosed personality or psychological disorder and some may have learned these violent behaviors from family where violence was accepted or from a community of friends or from cultural influence when they grew up. Now we need to do something to stop these violence because it's high time. It's high time we have to do something. Educate yourself. Educate yourself with the facts and the stories that why you need to stop violence. Embrace diversity. Respect and educate yourself. Educate yourself with the facts and the stories that why you need to stop violence. Embrace diversity. Respect and treat all women and girls equally. Call your local schools and tell them to address sexual harassment. Because when children know about this, because they are the youth of the country, they need to know about this to stop this problem. Applaud others who speak about oppression and violence against women. Engage others in this discussion. And men, show your strength in speaking up to men who are hurting the women. Tell your kids that violence is not the only way to stop, stop problems. Violence is not the only way to solve conflict between people. Teach your kids that women should be respected. Lastly, I just want to conclude by saying that next time when you have a sister or a daughter beside you, don't think her as a liability and do not dare to think that she's going to marry and take off. Respect her like a normal human being because we all need respect. It's, an, it's not a privilege. It is basic human rights.